Sony makes some impressive, highly capable cameras. And if you own one, it's only natural that you want quality Sony lenses to go with it. While lens options used to be somewhat limited, Sony has expanded its range in recent years. You'll now find just about any focal length you want with plenty of zoom and prime choices. Sony also has multiple lines of lenses to cover different budgets. It has the expensive though high quality GM lineup, as well as the more affordable G line. There are also lenses collaboratively built with Zeiss for more variety. Plus, third-party lens manufacturers are filling even more gaps. But no matter what you are looking for, the best Sony lenses will help you take advantage of the features and quality of your Sony camera. We have listed the top six Sony lenses and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website validconsumer.com. Number 6. Sony E-Mount FE 24mm f1.4 GM For those of you who prefer travelling with prime lenses, the lens you must have in your backpack at all times is the Sony FE 24mm f1.4 GM lens, an incredibly fast wide-angle lens that offers excellent image quality while keeping the form factor small and compact. With its 24mm focal length, the wide-angle field of view is perfect for travel, allowing you to capture all kinds of sceneries you might encounter on your travel from expansive landscapes to massive architectures. The lens is also wide enough to capture a nice selfie of yourself while traveling, and fast enough to shoot even in the poorest of lighting conditions, or even astrophotography, making it one of the most versatile prime lenses out there. Best of all, the lens is extremely compact and lightweight, weighing only 445 grams or 15.7 ounces, which makes it a great travel lens to carry around while you're out and about. Not to mention its extreme corner-to-corner -corner sharpness that allows you to capture places in great detail with no compromises. If you're looking for a prime lens to travel with and you don't want to carry a lot of lenses and continuously switch between one another, the Sony FE 24mm f1.4 GM lens is a great option for you. Number 5. Sony FE 50mm f1.2 G Master Although this lens feels quite bulky on a Sony mirrorless body, it's still fairly compact and reasonably lightweight for an f1.2 lens. Even so, it goes extra large in terms of features and performance. The weather-sealed construction feels a fully professional grade quality, there are two customizable function buttons that fall naturally under the thumb in both landscape and portrait orientation shooting, and the manual aperture ring comes complete with a D-click switch for stepless control during video capture. Unlike most ultra-fast lenses, the Sony maintains spectacular sharpness across the entire image frame, even when shooting wide open. Bokeh is beautifully smooth and both lateral and axial color fringing is very negligible. There's noticeable vignetting when shooting at f1.2, but this pretty much disappears by f2, and automatic in-camera correction is available anyway. Number 4. Sony FE 85mm f1.4 GM lens. If you take a lot of portraits, 85mm is something you should have in your bag or on your camera. This focal length offers the ideal amount of telephoto reach and its resulting benefits without putting you at a significant distance from your subject. The f1.4 aperture of this G Master lens means that you can get a very shallow depth of field, creating excellent separation between your subject and the background. And it's also superb in low light situations. Granted, there's no in-lens stabilization, but most Sony cameras offer it at the body level, and the fast aperture helps. This lens utilizes Sony's linear supersonic wave motor for focusing. It's fast and quiet, though it won't be instant if you're making a big switch in where you are focused. On the side of the lens, you will find a focus hold button, which like other Sony lenses, can be programmed to something else should you want. It also has an aperture ring that can be clicked or de-clicked for video. Also good for video is the lack of focus breathing, and like all GM lenses, it's fully dust and moisture sealed. Of course, we have to talk image quality. This lens possibly produces the sharpest and highest resolution images of any 85mm f1.4 available right now. Images are crisp and clean, with little aberration or fringing. There's also essentially no distortion. 
The bokeh is quite nice, which is an asset for portraiture, though the Samyang 85mm may be even smoother, and that lens is quite a bit more affordable and a bit lighter. At the end of the day, it comes down to where your priorities are, sharpness or bokeh. If sharpness is number one to you, the Sony should be your pick. Number three. Sony FE 16-35mm f2.8 GM 16-35mm is an ideal focal length range for covering a wide range, no pun intended, of situations. It's wide enough to do interior and real estate work, but having the ability to zoom to 35mm makes it perfect for group photos and some portraiture. The fast f2.8 aperture makes it great in low light situations, and the 11 blade rounded aperture allows for beautifully smooth bokeh. It would be a great lens to have in your kit if you're a wedding or event photographer. The autofocus of this lens is fast and also essentially silent. That's a plus if you shoot video, we'll be photographing in quiet spaces like churches. Unfortunately, there are no focus or depth of field scale markings on the lens, which means you can't focus at a specific distance as easily. But there is a focus hold button on the lens body. It's a customizable button as well, should you want to use it for something else. The lens can focus as close as 11 inches. It's no macro, but it does mean you can take some nice detail shots with good background separation, especially thanks to the f2.8 aperture. And because of the high resolution of this lens, those detail shots, and anything else of course, will be remarkably clear and sharp. It's even sharp when wide open, which isn't typically the case. It is a heavy lens for this focal length, and there are lighter and more compact options out there. If you don't mind losing a stop of aperture, Sony's own 16-35mm Vario Tessa TFE F4ZAOSS weighs and costs about half as much. Number 2. Sony FE 70-200mm F2.8 GM OSS2 Considering the fact that Sony is quickly leading the march of mirrorless with their impressive array of cameras, it's to be expected that the company would make a really good 70-200mm lens, the Sony FE 70-200mm f2.8 GM OSS2. Lighter than DSLR versions, this lens is trying its best to match the size of mirrorless gear, but it is still large. That being said, weight is reduced by about 29%, which may not seem like a large number, but when you're out in the field shooting for hours, you will feel the difference. What makes this version so special is how effectively it communicates with Sony's now legendary autofocusing system. The mirrorless cameras have lightning fast autofocus, but this is only possible with lenses that work with the system. This new 70-200mm lens has a brand new way of doing autofocus, which the company promises will focus even faster than ever before. The G-Master GM line of lenses is Sony's luxury division, and this lens is no exception to the promises. Sharp, clear and vivid, the Sony FE 70-200mm f2.8 GM OSS2 has it all. There are lots of extra coatings to remedy common problems, such as chromatic aberration and smudges on the glass. The aperture blades make for an ultra creamy bokeh, something lots of photographers drool over. Number 1. Sony FE 24-70mm f2.8 G Master 2 24-70mm is perhaps the most versatile zoom lens you can have. It goes from a solid wide angle to a short telephoto, making it a great all-rounder. That versatility earns it the top spot here. Released in June of 2022, this is Sony's second iteration of the classic 24-70mm focal length. The update came with some very worthwhile improvements, most notably the more compact size. It's 20% lighter than the first version and 16mm shorter. It's the lightest 24-70mm available across any company. Thanks to its compact size and focal length range, it's a perfect travel lens. Sony also improved the autofocus abilities of this lens, resulting in faster and quieter focusing than the original version. That's partly thanks to the fact that it's powered by four XD Extreme Dynamic linear motors. It'll pair perfectly with the very intelligent autofocus of Sony's cameras. Unfortunately, Sony didn't fully solve everything related to focusing. While the focus breathing, a phenomenon in which the field of view changes as you focus, has been reduced from the first version, some lingered. It's minimal, but it's something to keep in mind if you will be using this for videos. As is standard on G Master lens, it's fully weather sealed, so you won't have to worry about bringing it to tough environments. It's also made of tough polycarbonate, which helps cut down on the weight. And the included lens hood comes with a welcome addition of a sliding window, which allows you to check and adjust your circular polarizer much more easily. 
It's a small thing, but it's definitely a nice touch. Where this lens shines, of course, is its sharpness. It's supremely sharp, even edge to edge when wide open and throughout the zoom range. It really is capable of producing some spectacular images. And thanks to the 11 blade iris diaphragm, the bokeh is very smooth and attractive. Sony also improved the close focusing of the second iteration, and you can now focus as close as just 8.3 inches. It's not a true macro lens, but you'll be able to get some nice detail shots with it. So that wraps up our list of the best Sony lenses. Hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up, as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which Sony lens you're going to choose. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you in any way, please give this video a like, and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.